Morning everybody. Hope you're having a good one. My fucking radio doesn't want to fucking work. And we're filling up with fuelages. If everything goes good, we should be done our seating operations today. Who else uses a stick to hold the friggin' fuel fuel handle on? Anyway, we're gonna get this sucker fueled up and uh, we'll bring you back after. Alrighty guys, so we're out in the field, obviously. Uh, this is our, what I'm calling my North 60. I believe it's total acres here is actually about 62, 62 or 63 acres, something like that. I do have my guy GPS on and the reason it's on is to get one round um, get the acreage off of the first round the headland I ain't pulling nothing and I'm a ways away from the edge of the field you can kind of see that there so this would be the imaginary line imagining if I was pulling a uh, big 60 foot air uh, Valmar actually it's 57 feet I've got my GPS set for um, 54 feet which allows me a foot and a half overlap so why am I doing this well if some of you remember the whole kerfuffle we had we had major problems with our Valmar we calibrated it uh, picked it up calibrated last year and went out dumped the seed in for a 45 acre plot dumped the seed in did two rounds which also incorporated pretty much all of the obstacles that I would ha would have had to have gone around and when I got done I was out of seed we dumped we had kind of roughly figured out on roughly approximately 15 acres we had it figured out that we dumped like 50 to 52 maybe even 54 pounds of seed an acre of alfalfa grass so I, I gotta go get the Valmar again the exact same machine now if you go back in our videos you'll to last year yeah, that was July. If you go back in our videos back to July, you'll see why we had such a kerfuffle. But my plan this year is to uh, get the machine, get it calibrated. By running my GPS right now, even though I'm not hooked to anything, it thinks that I'm hooked to something. And let's say we're hypothetically we're 10 acres by the time we do, do one round. Dump 60 pounds of seed in here at 10 pounds an acre, that's 60 pounds. Or wait, no, sorry, that's six pounds. So dump two bags in, they're 50 pound bags, um, for 100 pounds if we're 10 acres, and we should pretty much be bang on, calibrate the machine for like 9 pounds, and we should theoretically, after doing 10 acres, we should only have like a pound approximately 
left is the whole idea. So that's kind of why I'm out here right now. From here we're going to go straight to uh, Blair's Egg and we're going to pick up the machine and get it home, get it calibrated, blah blah blah, all that fun stuff. And we're going to try and get some uh, alfalfa grass. <sighs> oh shit, sorry, excuse me. Get some alfalfa grass uh, put on the ground. They are calling for scattered showers for the next three days, so I'm really, really hoping that we're going to get some of those scattered showers. But, so far they were calling for rain for the past three, four days, and we basically, all we got was a dust dampener. So, anyways, I'll let you guys go. I'll bring you back when I'm done this first round and then I'll tell you what we got for acreage on our imaginary equipment that we're pulling. Talk to you then. Alrighty, well. There it is. 8.8. .8. So basically nine acres. So uh, when we and that check mark. Okay, when we uh, go to calibrate everything out. shut down and then come to the field we'll uh, put the seed in the ground put the seed in the machine for nine acres basically again we'll be dumping two 50 pound bags in here and we'll just do the math on it and if there's like four, five, six pounds, whatever, you know, left over, that would, that would be uh, the ticket that we're looking for. But anywho, let's get on over to Blair's and uh, get that machine. We got basically 115 acres to get over, so talk to you later. Alrighty guys, well this is the machine. It's a big uh, Valmar Airflow 7600, 57 feet wide, fertilizer with grass seed attachment in the front or small, small seed. They have different gear drives that you can swap out here uh, for doing different product. But anywho, we were trying to calibrate the some bitch and... It would just stop and I'm looking around well this fucking chain was so goddamn loose it would come around this way catch in the frame right down here and then stop everything good thing we were in our calibration mode because if that would have happened in the field I ripped friggin uh, clutches or something out of it so now we gotta get up there dump dump a bag of seed in and now we can start our calibration later. Alrighty guys, so with this darn machine, you ours, uh, we're just having a heck of a time here with it. Hate it. Calibrating this some bitch sucks, mm -hmm. I'll be honest. You take the wheel, you spin it 63 friggin' times, going this way, counterclockwise. That turns your drive here, which in turn drives, so your drive's 
sprocket here, which in turn drives this metering device and the one on the other side over there. Uh, then you take your combined total product, and this is our product from both pails. So smooth brome, meadow brome. That's not even a fucking seed. That's a stem that's chopped up. What the fuck? See that right there? Got ripped. And I can't blame Jed for that because he orders his grass seed in. He doesn't grow his grass. He grows the alfalfa. Alfalfa, smooth brome, meadow brome, and... Uh, uh, shit, I can never remember the th fourth product. Starts with a T. It's not true to K Timothy. I don't know why I can't remember that, but it's Timothy. But anyway, that's our product. Weigh your product, and I've done it over the years on this exact scale every time. And by that scale, right now... And what I always do, it says five and a half pounds. You go by the bigger number on the top, not these little guys. So five and a half pounds. But what I usually do is give it a bounce. Then it jumps it to six. Minus a pound and a half for the pail because we've weighed the pail. And it tells me that this bucket is a pound and a half. So we're at four and a half pounds. Well, that's nine pounds an acre. But then when I take this, yeah, yeah, babe, yeah, yeah, clear, put it on this digital scale, why is it at 16? She does not working properly, mate, because it's baking in the sun, I don't know. But this goddamn thing's not working right now. Okay, we're at zero now. So I weighed it earlier, this exact pail, and it said 5.88. Now it says 5.98. Still puts us at over four and a half, or, uh, yeah. Basically, not quite over four and a half. Um, you take your total weighed product, multiply that by two to give you pounds per acre. This is what they're telling us. So that's telling me that I am putting down just about nine pounds an acre. And I want to be sitting around eight, eight and a half. We're just having a heck of a time with it. So my buddy Bob, he was over. And uh, I think Bob does a lot of his own reloads, stuff like that. So he went home to grab his scale, and we're going to weigh with that some bitch and see what we come up with, because I can't get, I don't feel that I'm getting a proper accurate reading off of either of these scales. So waiting for Bob to get back here, and we'll go from there. Talk to you guys later. Alrighty guys, so we got her set up for eight and a half pounds an acre. I've changed my GPS so I am only uh, one foot instead of a foot and a half overlap. Um, I'm gonna do one round. We've got a hundred pounds in the machine of seed. I need um, basically 85 pounds or something like that when I'm all done and said I should have something like 
11 and a half. The way we had it figured out, I should be 11 and a half, 12 pounds of seed left over after doing one round. Not that we're gonna actually weigh it all out, but we're going to take a look and see where we're at. Because if we run out in the first round, then we know we've got fucking issues again, right? So, yeah, that's where we're at. Anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, and we'll talk to you later. Alrighty, guys, so I don't know if you can see that. looks like a tractor trail right there, two tractor tire tracks. That was from this morning when I drove around Imaginary thinking I had to be that far away from my fence because of that wing right there. God damn it, I'm goddamn near right bang on the button for where I want it to be. Can't really see anything coming out, but my uh my gear drives are turning, so, and I can see the product dropping into the chutes, so it's got to be working, right? Anyway, we'll do one round, and then we'll check and see what the box looks like. Talk to you guys then. Alrighty, guys, well, we dumped 10 bags in, so a grand total of 12 at uh, 50 pounds a bag so we're pushing what the hell is that like uh, five six hundred pounds 600 pounds roughly of seed that we uh, dumped in the machine for this 60 acres 62 at eight and a half pounds an acre we should be good to rock and roll according to my calculations and BP is wonderful with math as long as he has a calculator And now I got to get, hit that. I got a little bit of an overlap happening. Not bad. Hit that. And let's go. So now we can just uh, let her rip. And uh, get this alfalfa grass seeded down. When we check the box, there's only about maybe 12 and a half to 15 pounds in there, we figured. So we'll see how much is left in the box when I get done this field. We'll talk to y'all later. Alrighty, guys. Well, we're on our last pass. And the only reason it's the last pass, because when I set my AB line, after I did my two headlands, there, no, there, uh, I ended up having a strip that we had missed on. So I'm doing that strip right now. And I figure by the time I'm done, then I'll be, uh, I'll have about, I don't know, 45 to 50 pounds left in the box, which works out goddamn near bang on to what it should be. And at eight and a half pounds, and if you double up here and there, it's no big deal. Like 16 pounds won't 
break the bank by any means. And I don't think it would be too much for uh, the ground to handle. It would just be a little bit thicker. It's not like it's friggin' 50 pounds, right? So, so yeah, we're just finishing off that one strip and then we'll move to the next field. This is alfalfa seeding 2024. Talk to y'all later. Alrighty, guys. Well, I finished that out, this field out here. And I figured it was about 62 to 63 acres. And then if I add in this little whatever the fuck this is, uh, let's set, call it five acres. So I'm pushing 70. And we put 12 bags in, which is 700 pounds, with a little bit of overlap, and I did that. We were set for eight and a half, and I just sprinkled all of that stuff on there, and we just ran out. Sweet! So I guess we're set pretty goddamn close for our eight and a half pounds, right? So we need to throw in another um, nine pounds or nine bags. That's 450. And uh, eight and a half pounds an acre. That should do the orgasmic land at 45, 45 acres. Gives me a couple pounds per acre for overlap so we should be good with that anywho i just gotta wait for cp to bring me the seed talk to y'all later Alrighty, guys well we're over here on our orgasmic land we're giving her just working on the very first pass and our left hand clutch to shut that drive off quit working like it's turning when I want it to turn but if I get to a spot where I don't want that boom on on the left side because of major overlap I can't shut it off now I believe these they're all electric and it's all works with magnets I believe so um, my guess is it's something went wrong inside the clutch power is shortened out or whatever or we ended up with a broken wire somewhere along the line I don't know I know I know I didn't catch no trees I didn't catch no nothing like that because there is no trees for me to catch if I'm gonna catch a tree it's going to be way out there on the end of that boom on my first pass. Like right here, I could have had that boom shut off right now because I'm overlapping. But whatever, it'll be what it'll be. I've got extra seed. I threw a little extra in to uh, cover for the overlap on this piece because of all the corners and ducking in and out so sorry about the dirty uh, screen slash dirty windows but all we're doing is driving and you see all that we're just kicking up all kinds of dust I think they uh, I think there's a song about that kick the dust up boom ba -da boom boom anyways we're gonna keep on giving her here and I'll bring you guys back a little bit later. I gotta pay attention to all these freaking trees so I don't screw the boom up. Last pass, guys. This is our last pass. And this field is done. And I don't got much for seed left because with the bushes and the uh, 
little corners here and there and so on and so forth I had a lot of overlap and with that clutch not shutting on and off properly that was because it's on all the time so that one whole side of the machine that what the hell just about 30 feet um, so that was causing us grief so yeah so we ended up using a little more seed than I was anticipating but you know what that's okay it's all in here I got to go out there and roll the tarp because we're getting the odd sprinkle if you can make that out on the window or not I don't know but we are getting the odd sprinkle so uh, I got to close the tarp the cloud is right there so I'm gonna shut that tarp up and uh, we'll talk to you guys here in a little bit alrighty guys well that's her that's a wrap hundred and basically 15 acres of seed on the ground we're getting the odd raindrop uh, I'm just gonna leave it I'm not gonna harrow right away I'm just gonna leave it and if we can get rain over the next couple days then when it dries a little bit, then I'll go in and I'll harrow it. So right now, there, we're taking this thing, taking this thing back to Blair's egg. And uh, we'll see what the heck they're going to charge me for the use of it today, especially since I had to fix it. The drive sprocket was all month stretched out or drive drive chain I should say was all stretched out they didn't have parts I ended up hunting around and I found the right chain and the right parts and so on and so forth so we got we got a full link taken out and then a half link put in and put back together and now it works because there's no there's no idler sprocket or tensioning sprocket on the drive chain it's just direct so anywho that's fixed and they get to fix the friggin clutch in it so let's get this thing back to them and uh, we'll see what happens after that my guess is it's pushing six o'clock so I was gonna go home shower call her a day you guys have a good one we'll see you tomorrow well, we're getting some rain here. It's not hard. It's not raining hard. It's just nice, kind of drizzly, sometimes a little bit harder than a drizzle. But, you know, if it does this all night and for a big chunk of tomorrow, give us a good half to half inch would be friggin' awesome a full inch would be even more awesome and that hay that we just got seeded down should take off like a hot down anywho homeward bound have a good evening enjoy the rest of your weekend talk to you guys later